Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my first look mini-series on Mega Dimension Neptunia V2. This is episode two, guys and gals. And as promised, I am right where we left off. And we're going to continue on. Now, things do respawn, as you guys saw at the end of the last episode. While he was screwing up my outro, <clears throat> uh, he, they do respawn, and you can go back and farm them up and kill them over and over and over again. And get delicious, amazing, super awesome stuff. Now, there's supposedly, allegedly, possibly, potentially, destructible things in the environment. Now, I've tried to destroy this. I haven't been able to. I assume that this is a possibility somehow. But I don't know how to do it. So I'm going to hit this a few times just to see if it maybe does explode, but it doesn't seem like it's doing anything. Can't jump over it, and unfortunately there is some sort of treasure loot down and around that corner, but we cannot receive it just yet. I assume maybe later on down the road in the game it will give us some way of breaking stuff, and then we'll be able to do that. Alright, we're going to attack again. Alright, I think... Let's see, it is Nepgear again doing stuff. We're going to go and attack and rush. Took him out. I'm going to see if I can't position to get both. I don't think I can, actually. I don't think there's a way... No, I can't get both. It is a physical impossibility. Alright, so we're just going to try to beat this guy to death, I guess. Alright, so the attack and then the power edge is going to be our better bet than the rush for her. He did miss his AoE attack, so we should be able to finish this off again with uh, Neb Gear. Yay, we're superheroes. We got something called a dot antenna. I don't know what a dot antenna is. When acquiring new equipment, if you wish to use it, you will need to equip party members from the equipment screen. Select the equipment you want to change and press A to display the equipment list. Select the item you wish to equip and press A to equip it. You can also press Y and X to view equipment info and status. Numbers will change in real time, so take advantage of that while selecting equipment. Alright, if you press the left trigger, the strongest equipment will automatically be selected from the items available. Use it when you're not too sure what the best options are. Alright, thank you for uh, telling me that. Alright, I'm going to try the left trigger, and I believe that's actually exactly what we already have. And yeah, nothing's changed. Alright, so we have nothing else that we can do right now. We shall continue on. Alright, so this is the way to go. Another event over here. Ooh, check this out. I wonder what happened here. Hey, Neptunior, let's try climbing to the top. Maybe we can figure out where we are. Okay. Wait for me, Neptune! This can't be... What? What? What, what is this? More of the same? No way. Just where is this? Also, the sky is cracking. Hmm? Oh, wow, you're right. I think it's a girl. Oh, no. She's surrounded by a bunch of scary monsters. There's no way a local could fight against that many. Let's go, Nepgear. Yeah, let's go help her. All right, we're going to go and help the girl. Maybe. Potentially. There we go. All right, so we're going to leap off of this place because it seems like a totally legit strategy and not a horrible idea in any way, shape, or form. We're going to come over here and we are going to teleport or warp. Where are we going to warp? We're not sure. Apparently we warped up onto something. Hmm. And there is something there. Hey, we found some healing grass because that's totally not weird in any way. Like a kangaroo. And it appears that now we must jump down. And you guys will notice... We are back where we were at the beginning. And what we must do is now climb back over this thing. 
and jump our way over to our victory point. And now we get to actually continue from where we're where we left off and where we're supposed to be going at this point. So there it is. Alright, and we get to see there are more nasty monsters to our right. There's some more of these little weird pixelated dudes over in front of us. I am going to go and smack. Always at the climax. Okay, that's a bit odd. Alright, let's finish this. This is going to hurt, so we got 30 HP bonus onto her. And now we have Neptune. We go with Power Edge. She doesn't seem to do as well with Rush as she does with her other ability, so... There we have it. And there was another one. Oh, he's right there. Now, I have not been able to figure out how to get to this one either. I believe it, again, has something to do with being able to destroy these boxes. I don't know how to do that, though. Unfortunately, I think we need either better equipment or there's going to be a special thing that allows us to do that. There is, however, a thing that I wasn't aware of at first, and you can jump over into, like, a different area. You can leap over the little barrier here. I think that helps for safe travel, and sometimes there's going to be some stuff that's over there that you're going to want to go and snag up. Okay, so we have a new enemy against us here. A lizard man, as it were. So we have Neptune as our first to go this time. So we're going to try to kill him. We were unsuccessful, which is a bit sad. Alright, well, we're going to finish him off anyway. Well, a little bit of hate, but not nothing that we couldn't handle there. Alright, going to combo that down. Now, this is turn-based, guys. We can take as long as we want. We can just sit here for like 30 minutes if we want to. I generally tend to skip over stuff a little bit quicker. Alright, so, dot antenna. Again, I'm not sure what that is. It looks like maybe it's a junk item or something maybe you can craft with. I don't know. There it is, guys and gals. Ta -la 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 -la. That's awesome. I'm just saying. That made me smile the first time. Alright, we got a new combo attack, Rapid Rush. And she leveled up as well. Alright, so what does that mean? You guys are fine. Settle down. In the combo menu, you can set the combo attacks to use during battle. Your first attack is determined by your weapon, which cannot be changed. Oh, I didn't even know that. Okay. Uh, with the subsequent attacks, you may freely set up any combo skills you learn from leveling up. Choose the spot you wish to set the combo with the cursor and bring up the combo list with A. Select the combo from the list to set it. There are three types of combos, Power, Rush, and Standard. Power emphasizes Strength, Rush emphasizes Hit, Count, and Standard sits between the two. Alright, combo traits are attributes that, if conditions are met, will always cause an attack to become a CRITICAL HIT. Combo traits change depending on the combo attack, so check it each time you set a combo. Okay. The amount of combos you can set depends on the weapon you equip. The parts you cannot use in battle will be grayed out. You can set combos, but you cannot use them in battles. Interesting. Positions with an icon displayed are available. Okay, that makes sense. So we can go up to tier 3 with Neptune. We can go up to the tier 3 of either of these two. That's kind of cool. And I believe we got Power Slash to actually go with it. Alright, that makes more sense. I was actually struggling a little bit with this. I couldn't figure out exactly what was going on here. And it makes a little bit more sense now. Okay, um... I don't know that we're gonna necessarily get this combo trait because of the fact that our standard attack is not... Our, our first attack is not, is not a power attack. It's a standard attack. And then on this side, it looks like we can go with the top tier and the bottom tier. We don't have a second skill there, and we don't have a second skill there. However, let's go back into the combo thing real quick. Uh, let's see if I can figure out how much this does. Power 135 and hit 2. Hits 3. Alright, well, ideally what you would want is rush followed by rapid rush, but unfortunately we don't have that. And it looks like Nep Slash is actually going to be the best bet. Seven hits and 138. 
So I'm going to put that as her ability. So if we take a look up here, guys and gals. Take a look up here. You have your first one. You can't change this except based off of whatever weapon you have. And then from there, you have this and this that you can do. So the, the first group here, we can do all three. The second, uh, This is technically the second group. So the second group here, you can do all three. The third group, we can only do a power and we can do a standard. Unfortunately, we don't have another standard skill to throw in there. So that's why we only have one up here. It, it makes sense. I didn't really understand it at first. I think I may have been like half asleep or delirious or something when I was uh, playing this the first time. And I missed out on exactly how combos work. Let me move the cursor off the screen. There you go, folks. All right, let's see if we can't do battle with this guy. All right, he's got a friend. Hmm. Well, this is what, Neptune? I'm gonna try using Neptune's Nep Slash just to see how much damage it does. Well, a very large amount of actual hits, but it didn't do a lot either. And the other thing is you can go from a standard attack to a power attack to a... whatever the rush attack is, the, the top one. And they all work. So you, you can go diagonal or up or down or zigzag or whatever the case is. So it, it's kind of neat. Unfortunately, we cannot reach you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoot over here and defend. Looks like Neptune just got wrecked a little bit there. All right, so the attack and the rush. And that was enough. Cool. We did do that. All right, we got a nine-hit combo as our new record. And it does look like Neptune is definitely a little worse for the wear. Alright, we're gonna go up against one of these giant turtle alligator things. Surprise! Alright, so let's go over here. We're gonna attack, we're gonna attack, and we're gonna attack again. And it looks like we'll be victorious here. I mean, it's all pretty basic attacks right now, but it's fine. We have indeed. Cool. Alright. Well, it looks like we have another giant lizard here we can go and do battle with. Oh, he saw us for a second there. He was angry. He wanted to eat us. Oh, ooh, there's two. Hmm. Alright, let's attack Power Edge and Power Slash. Is that enough to finish him? It was. Now we have a few other options here. I'm going to do this. We use a command, we're going to go to skills, and we're going to use... Oh, we have more stuff than I thought we did, huh? Cool. We're going to use a heal. It doesn't use a lot of our SP, so we should be able to keep... Should be able to keep... Um... How do I change? Oh, there we go. Okay, we can change with the D-pad. Okay. So I want to heal Neptune. She's the weaker of the two right now. Alright, she's going to get hit for very little, thankfully. I'm going to once again go with the power attacks all the way through and just slaughter them straight up. Dizzying, to be sure. So, like I said, folks, I do like the combat in this game. I like the gameplay mechanics of the game. Uh, like I said, this is definitely something I'm going to be playing, and I will probably end up streaming it if I decide to do a full LP. I don't think I'll do it on YouTube, but it'll probably just be on Twitch. I'm not sure. We'll see. SP Charger. Uh, I don't stream very often anymore, guys and gals, so I wouldn't hate being able to just stream the game and enjoy it. Without having to worry about, you know, time constraints and all the other stuff that you do with YouTube. It would be kind of nice to just be able to stream and play the game and just have fun. So, I think that's probably going to be my plan. But again, we'll do the first little mini-series so you guys have a pretty good idea of what the game's all about. Maybe you want to grab it before it goes uh, off of sale? I don't know. It really depends on what you, you folks like. What should I do? Now, do keep in mind that I am recording this directly after the last episode. So if you guys all hated the game and you want to boycott me for the rest of your lives, I if I ever do another episode, I apologize because I've already done the other episode. And chances are they will play back-to-back -back days or something along those lines. So, again, I'm, I'm gearing up to go on vacation here. And actually, on Friday, I will be leaving. So Thursday will be my last day doing regularly scheduled stuff for a couple of weeks. I'll be doing potentially one video. Oh, 
Apparently I got too close to him, so this is a regular battle. Alright. And just enough strength to slaughter through him. I think we're about to level up again, too. Not quite there yet, but we're getting close. I think we're about to meet our first uh, extra character. Oh, I'm going backwards. Awkward! Alright, looking on the mini-map or the radar, there's not much there. There is something in front of us now, a giant menace to society here. Like a kangaroo! Like a kangaroo. We just got some life fragments. And I don't see anything else over here, so now we're just going to try to get the advantage on the giant robot. And it is rather large, I know. Alright, are you folks ready to see us fight the metal garter? Because I certainly am. Alright, so basically the same thing. The basic attack followed by the power edge and the power slash. It's not going to be enough to kill him this time around. Even with Nepgear adding into it, I don't believe it's going to be enough either. It's close though. Oh, he missed! Fool! Alright. There we are. So simple and easy. He is dead. Very, very good. Still not quite enough to level up. Well, I have my hopes. We'll level up soon. Alright, looks like there's a save point over there to our right. I'm trying to find the position to actually chop this guy in the buttocks. There we go. Surprise attack! And as you guys go on, I'll show you after this battle. But you continue to gain stats and stuff for doing various different things. You see that we're achieving stuff like uh, surprise attack, I'm regular, things like that. They all give us some sort of benefit, some sort of bonus. Alright, so we did a decent amount of... Oh, we just got crit. That was unpleasant. Well, we have uh, Nepgear going right now. Let's go with skills. Let's throw another heal out onto ourselves, I suppose. And we'll let Neptune finish the big baddie. And down he goes. It's all over. Love it. Alright, so she got 96 health. She got 17 more SP. And then a whole bunch of other stats. I mean, like, I'm surprised how many stats you actually gain each time you level up. That's kind of cool. And we just acquired a new skill. Do your best. That is a Neptune skill. It, I believe, increases our attack and defense abilities. And we also got the double Zanbo, which is a standard attack that we can now combo. And it looks like uh, Nepgear leveled up as well. She got 102 HP, which is a bit more. Not bad. And she got pretty much, I think she got the better end of the deal for leveling up, too. And she now has rapid hit combo added. I'm still fine. Thank you for worrying about Alright, we're going to go into combo points here. We're going to add the uh, double Zanba. So, if we do this, it should actually be our strongest. So, attack, attack, attack. That should actually be the strongest because these don't crit due to the fact that... Well, this one might crit, but this one won't crit due to the fact that not all previous attacks are power. This will crit. Well, maybe... Yeah, this will crit and so will this. So, we'll give it a shot. I'll try to use those as our primaries here. Now, additionally, we could add another one here if we had it, but we don't. But we did get rapid hit. And we're going to do that. Okay, so... This should crit. I don't know if this will crit because it doesn't have any required thing. And since we're not using any power, that's going to work out pretty decently. Okay, and let's continue. Yeah. Alright, so we managed to catch up on him, sneak on up, and we should be able to do a decent amount of damage. So the attack, the attack, the attack. Yeah, that did a lot of damage. And then she should be able to completely wreck them with her combos as well. Her second combo didn't crit though, which is a bit weird. Not sure I'm thrilled with that, but we did get the most hits we've done so far, so that's kind of cool. Alright folks, let's go over and save our game. And let's go to the event. Yeah! 
Ugh, these pricks are still crawling out of the woodwork. We're about halfway through evacuations. I'd advise you start heading back now. What the hell? Are you freaking kidding me? Half? We need to get them all out of here. Besides, if I leave these bastards alone, they're just gonna be on our tails all night. This is gonna end right here. <laughs> I love the monster groans. They're awesome. Dear me. Just don't overdo it. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I'm the only one who can fight anyway. Hey! Uh. Hmm? We found our first citizen! Hey there! People? I could have sworn there were a lot more monsters before we got here. Did, did she defeat them all by herself? Man, I'm just glad we finally ran into someone. Hey, lady, could you tell us where we... Oh, reinforcements now of all times? Come again? Chill out, lady. I'm just trying to... <laughs> You're not half bad. The name's Uzume Tenoboshi. What's yours? Uzume Tenoboshi. All right. N Neptune. It's Neptune. Nep... Your name's freaking hard to pronounce. I don't get that. That's uh, apparently a running gag through the entire Neptunia series. Apparently people can't say Neptune. It's like the most simplistic name I've ever heard in my life. But apparently people struggle with it. That's okay, though. I can accept it and move on. It's just, it's a weird running gag. I don't get it. I get that a lot. See? Hmm. You're a lot stronger than you look. You're like the perfect prelude to it. Dang it! Just listen to me. We're already super tired from getting sucked into that crazy vortex, and I'm just trying to get back. Sorry, but I'm not the type to get all cozy with the enemy. If you think you can fool me by pretending to be human, you've got another thing coming. We're not enemies! Just... Listen to me! Seriously, like, I know I'm number one on Game Industry's Hot 100 chart for nicest people ever, but I'm about to get super pissed off! <laughs> That's adorable. Game it? Ugh, what the hell are you even talking about? Eat this! Chest Buster! What? Yes? Like my sister said, we have no intentions of fighting with you. In fact, I'd be really happy if you could help us. So, um, can you just listen to us for a minute? Yeah, what's your problem? Just help us, jeez. Neptune, this is your fault too. Why are you picking fights with strangers? Uh, <laughs> my bad. I was getting a little too hyped. Hey, uh, we're still over here. Ugh, there are still a few stragglers. All right, whoever you girls are, this is gonna have to wait until I clean this up. Yeah, let's mop this spit up. Mop spit up? What? Huh? I wanted us to stop fighting. It's too late for that. Here we go. Uzume, uh, I can't say the name. Tenno Boshi. <laughs> I try to remember, guys. I never can. Uzume joined the party. Alright, please set the following members to the front. I believe they're automatically to the front, but let's just double check. Formation, and yes, all three of them are to the front. Tenno, Tenno Boshi, Tenno Bushi, Tenno Boshi, I don't know. Alright, so we're good to go. And I think we're about to begin a relatively right, nasty step fight. Right up, you ugly sacks of flesh. My name is Uzume Tenoboshi, and you're all already dead. Tenoboshi. Tenoboshi. I'll never remember that, just so you guys know. What should I do? Huh, well this could be painful and unsatisfying. I believe right now we're actually we have two people selected in our hitbox. It's hard to tell, but I see the names of two of them highlighted. So what we're gonna try to do here with Neptune is just basic attack. Two what people. Should I do? 
And I think we were successful with that. I'm going to try to do the same thing on this side with the Nep Gear. And we're going to rush, and we're going to rapid hit. And we did manage to defeat one of them. Oh, not quite, actually. We didn't quite manage to defeat one of them. Alright, well, it looks like we're going to go here, then. And we're going to attack with... Shockwaves! Okay, so we got beat down a little bit there. It was pretty unpleasant, but, again, I can live with it. That guy's down, so all we have left is the final big bad robot over here, and if we're lucky, we should be able to defeat you. With basic attacks. And that's it. Murder up, ladies and gentlemen. Murder up. Yeah, it will. Alright, so we have max damage, we have uh, max hit. We both are, well, our highest ever. And there is Uzume leveling up. Dungeon cleared or whatever. I'm finished over here too. Is it really over? I guess I'll thank you two for now, but just be honest with me. You're not its underlings, are you? Mm. Uzume, I'm not sure what it is, but like I said before, we aren't here to fight. We're just looking for help. There are really humans that survived? I can't believe it! How many times do I have to nepping tell you? We aren't the bad guys. No, I know. I didn't mean it like that. It's just, I can't remember the last time I've seen people, let alone fight alongside them. It was wrong of me to attack you the way I did. Please, forgive me. It's okay. I'm just so glad you believe us. Oh, it's all good, Uzume. I know how it goes. I'm just relieved to know there are other people roaming around these parts. Well, I'm actually the only other person here. That aside, if you're not its underlings, who the hell are you girls? You seem pretty strong, but... Hmm... We're... How do you say... Lost. We suddenly found ourselves in this city. We were looking around to see if there was anyone else. And we finally found you. Lost? You mean there are others who failed to escape and are surviving in other cities? Failed to escape? From what? Surviving. Hey! I thought we cleared the dungeon. What the heck is it now? Finally, it's arrived. So that's bad. What, what, what is that huge thing? Is the last boss already appearing? We didn't get blown to the end of the game or something, did we? I don't know who or what that thing is either, but it's the one responsible for turning this city and the entire world into a wasteland. Is this the one behind all these weird cracks and rifts we've been seeing everywhere? Right, and it doesn't just destroy cities. It destroys the earth and sky as well. You're going to try and fight that? That's exactly right. I've been fighting with it for a long time. S something that giant is just too much. Please, Neptune, tell her to back down. All righty. Now I'm getting all fired up, too. Huh? Our opponent's bigger than a skyscraper? That's perfect. In fact, bring it on. Yeah, you gotta love their enthusiasm. Neptune! Some of their enthusiasms. Neptune, you're, I'm the protag! There's no way I'll lose! I appreciate the gesture, Neptune, but this fight is mine, and mine alone. Hey, she said Neptune. She did it! She actually said it! It's useless to try and stop me. I staunchly refuse to listen to people all the time. <laughs> I do what I want, and I want to help. Yep. Please Sounds be about right. You two. If you think about it sensibly, there's no way you could win against something that gigantic. Sorry to interject, but as a CPU, it's my sworn duty to deliver justice upon the one responsible for ruining this city. Huh? Hang 
on a sec. Did you just say you're a CPU? Oh yeah, I guess I hadn't mentioned that yet. Well, that doesn't really matter right now. This place is about to become a battlefield. If you're not prepared to get your hands dirty, then run. Far away. Uzume, let's get out of here together. I'm sure we can devise a strategy to defeat it that doesn't involve battling it head on, so... No can do. A pack of monsters like the ones we just fought are advancing along with that giant. I gotta stop him here, no matter what. I need to create a window for the others to escape. That giant thing looks terrible enough, but a pack of monsters too? Also, what others? Well then, with courage like that, I'm even more pumped to help you out, Uzume. Let's get ready to rumble. You girls aren't ready for a fight like this, and you're just gonna hold me back. Like I said, just hurry up and get out of here already. I don't wanna... Run away! No, no, no. If I ran away now, who's gonna be here to help you? I'm not leaving you here to die. We're doing this together. Mm hmm? Besides, even if we really can't hold our own, we can at least buy you some more time. Neptune. Uh... Okay. You're right. Neptune, if you're going to fight, then I will too. Ugh! What freaking ever! You two are so dense. Fine then. Listen, if we're gonna be fighting this thing together, then know this. We fight to win. Nip, yeah! Then, at the very least, why don't we find a place where we can heal your wounds? Nip, yeah! What? It's From fine. the looks of things, that giant won't head here immediately. We have some time. It's better to challenge it when we're at our best. You're not wrong. My base is close by, so let's head there. Battle members can receive assist effects called Support Requests from their Coupled Partner. Support Requests add 10% of the Coupled Partner's parameters to their own. This effect will manifest during battle. There are two types of Support Requests, Offensive and Defensive. With Offense, uh, Strength and Int are added. With Defense, it's Vitality and Men. Uh, no idea. Uh, you can freely set Support Requests to Defensive or Offensive by pressing the left bumper in the Coupling menu screen. The arrow pointing to the front character of the two coupled characters is the character set to receive the support request. Use the arrow to confirm what type of support is set. You can use it to boost the character's strength or to cover their weaknesses. Use it however you see fit in your party. Cool, but we don't really couple for a very long period of time. On the world map, you'll move across points connected by routes. Select your destination point with the cursor, then press A to move. You can move to any point that is connected to your current point by routes. There is a possibility that battles will occur on points on the way to your destination. You can also display a list of dungeons and town points with the up and down directional pad buttons. Use this if you want to choose a point from a list. If you place your cursor on a town or dungeon point, information will be displayed about the specific location. When your character reaches a town point, your party's HP and SP will also recover simply passing through town points. Cool. Coupling skills are special skills that activate when coupled characters work together. You will have to set a character coupling in the menu before battle, but they are easier to use than formation skills. Be aware that coupling skills use the EXE drive gauge as opposed to using SP. Okay. Simple and easy. All right, folks, I believe at this point in said game, I think this is where I'm going to break off episode two. I am considering doing a little bit more here before jumping ahead, but I think I may just jump ahead. I'm not sure what the next episode is going to entail, ladies and gentlemen. Either way, you will see a little bit more. I'm leaning toward a five-episode miniseries, so hopefully you guys can enjoy that. And when I get back from vacation, I may start setting up a random time to stream. If people are interested in seeing this game, I will probably stream it. If not, then I don't know. I'll let you guys know. I will keep you, well, informed of what my decisions are in the future. This place looks pretty wild. Pretty wild indeed. Anyway, folks, that's going to do it for this episode. Again, if you want any more information about the game, the developer, where to get the game, the publisher, any of that stuff, it'll be down below in the description of the video. If you guys enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe, and share it. And I will catch you guys next time with more Mega Dimension Neptunium V2. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs> <laughs>